Divine Twins. This is Debs and this is your Twin Flame journey for the month of May 2024. Twins, I do hope you're well wherever you are in the world. I hope you're happy, healthy and safe. So, of course, we're going to be looking at the energies between the masculine and the feminine. The deck that I'm using today is the Arcanum Tarot. All the decks I use are in the description box, together with a link to my website if you'd like your own Twin Flame reading. If you'd like to join the channel, the link is there too. And without further ado, let's begin. Here we go. Calling on the divine, the higher angels and ascended masters from the pure white light. Please guide me in this twin flame reading for the collective. This Archangel Michael is for the month of May 2024. The energies between the masculine and the feminine, Michael, please, for May 2024. Thank you, Michael. Oh, wow. I'm hearing the word suffering. Suffering. Oh. Mm. These two souls want to come into union. They've been suffering. Those wanted to come out. As you know, twins, we are not cutting the deck. Let's just see. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, suffering. We have one twin here who is receiving downloads from the other twin up at night, very stressed. I hear you, you know, I want to come into union. The other twin may be hanging on to someone else or the other twin is holding on to the potential of the connection. But we have two people on their own, two people silently lost in this twin flame energy. Yeah. OK, Archangel Michael's telling me to put those on one side. All right. So let's begin. Let's lay out the cards. As always, the top line of cards will represent the energy of the masculine. As you know, energies can switch. You could be a feminine, sad in your masculine and vice versa. Although I will be endeavouring to read these energies in inverted commas traditionally. OK, we'll see what comes through. Six cards for the masculine, six for the feminine. Okay. All right, twins. That's looking quite good. So, the card in the center will show me the energy that both of these two souls are sat in at this point of time, the overall energy. Okay, cards are holding a lot of heaviness. I don't know what's going on here, guys. We will see. So underneath the deck, we have, yeah, the five of swords. I felt something like that. The strength card. All right, somebody here sabotaged the connection and has been holding back, possibly understanding what this connection actually is. But someone here either cannot move towards the other person or they are refusing to answer the call, even though they know that they are sat in divine twin energy. We will see as we move through this reading, twins. So let's begin. So twins, we're going to start by having a look at the current energy that the divine masculine is sitting in, what's on his mind and how he's feeling at this point of time. The death card, Scorpio energy. The masculine could simply be a Scorpio or he could be thinking about a Scorpio. But this is major change and transformation. The masculine may be considering changing something major in his life in order to come together with his true divine feminine. He may have sabotaged the connection previously or the feminine may have sabotaged the connection. 
So the masculine is thinking of major change. So twins, we move now to the first card for the Divine Feminine. And of course, this is going to show us what's on her mind and how she is feeling again at this point of time. Wow. Okay. So she is embodying the energy of the Divine Feminine. Now, this is also potentially a feminine who could understand that the masculine is hanging on to a Taurus or a Libra. The masculine could be married, and she may understand that, or the feminine could be married. There may also be a baby mama in the mix with the energy of the Empress. But I feel this shows us that she's fully aware that she's carrying the energy of the Divine Feminine. Beautiful twins. So Divine Twins, we now move to the second card for the Divine Masculine. And of course, this is going to show us how he sees his Divine Feminine. What he believes is on her mind, how he believes she's feeling. And this will be his perspective. Okay. The Star. Aquarian energy. So the way the Divine Masculine is viewing the Divine Feminine is she has been healing. She's also very balanced. She's balanced the masculine and feminine within her. She may be, for some, relatively well known on social media. But he believes that she is his dream come true. But it's as if he feels it's too late. Somehow she's already healed. She's aware she is sitting in the divine feminine energy, but she's moved on with her life. She's healed. And so he may be nervous that she's given up on twin flame union in the 3D in this lifetime. He's nervous. So twins, let's have a look at the second card for the divine feminine. And of course, this will show us how she views her divine masculine, what she believes is on his mind, how she believes he's feeling. So this is her perspective. Ace of Swords. So the divine feminine may be aware that her divine masculine is about to end a situation, the death card, or she's simply aware that the Divine Masculine has become awoken to this connection, clarity, and therefore may be wanting to reapproach her. That is what she believes is on the Masculine's mind. Clarity and truth and potentially already detached from another person or considering detaching. Literally standing at crossroads. So twins, we now move to the third cards. And these are going to portray how each twin sees the actual relationship with the other twin, the connection that's been built up between the two of them since the first time that they met. So let's first of all have a look at the masculine's energies and see how he views the connection, the relationship with his true divine feminine. And again, this will be his point of view. The Three of Pentacles. So the way he views the connection with the feminine is that he is wanting to rebuild the foundation with her. But there could be a third energy still involved. Now that could be a baby mama or it could even be twins that if the divine feminine is still in a long term relationship, how he sees the connection with her is, well, I'm hoping you're going to leave somebody else. But for now, I'm willing to put in a little bit of effort to build a foundation with you, even though I know that this may be at this point of time, a third party situation. So twins, let's have a look at the third card for the feminine. This, of course, is going to portray how she sees the connection, the relationship with her true divine masculine. Let's have a look. Yes, interesting, the Three of Cups. So the Divine Feminine may be fully aware that the Masculine 
is wanting to move towards her to reunite. But again, we have a three. Now, these two are mirroring each other. They could previously have both been in connections with other people. If that was the case, then the masculine with the death card is definitely considering ending his situation, although the feminine may be sitting on the fence. Now, if the feminine is simply embodying the energy of the Empress, the true divine feminine energy, she may be hoping that the masculine is going to end a situation and move towards her to reunite. But she may be worried that with the Three of Cups, he's still connected to someone else. This could be a rather complicated twin flame connection. Let's have a look at the fourth cards. These, of course, are going to portray the messages that each twin wants to relay to the other twin. These could simply be messages of support and love, unconditional love for the twin flame journey itself. These could be questions that one twin wants to ask the other. These could, of course, be pieces of information sent between the souls during astral travel. So first of all, let's have a look at the masculine's energies to see what he wants to relay to the feminine for the month of May. The sun. Okay. Leo energy. He may want the feminine to know that he's gone through awakening. He's become enlightened pertaining to the connection with her. I understand that you are my true divine feminine. It may well be that the masculine is relaying to the feminine, I want to travel to see you. The sun can literally be travel. But he feels as if he could grow with the feminine, build a beautiful life with her. He does see the potential. But this is a masculine who is not quite sure whether or not very simply twins, it's too late. Has the feminine decided to move on? losing hope of reunion in this lifetime, or he may feel stuck, becoming enlightened that the feminine is in a relationship with someone else. He may not have known that initially. This is him saying to the feminine, I know who you are to me. I know you're my true divine feminine, but I found out or I've been told that you're in a relationship with someone else. Could be. So let's have a look at the fourth card for the feminine. Now, of course, this is going to show us the messages she would wish to send to him for the month of May. So twins, let's see. The Knight of Wands. Interesting. Now, if the feminine is indeed in a relationship with someone else, she could be married to a karmic partner. What she's relaying to the masculine is, I do understand that you are my true divine masculine. But as far as I'm concerned, all I can offer you is an affair situation sat in the Knight of Wands because I simply cannot leave the person that I'm with to offer you a commitment. Now, if there's a situation where the masculine was in a relationship with someone else, what the feminine is relaying to the masculine is the age gap could be too much. She may be coming through as a woman who's over 40 and knights are relatively young. So if the knight of wands is how she views her true divine masculine, what she's saying to him is, I'm not sure this is a good idea because even though I know that you're my true divine twin, there's a very large age gap. If the feminine is waiting for the masculine to approach her and the feminine is simply sat in this beautiful empress energy as a single woman, then what the feminine is saying to the masculine is, I'm worried that if you move towards me, you're going to move towards me carrying the energy of the knight of wands. You will not be considering committing to me. She's nervous. So this twins could go a lot of different ways. Let's have a look at the fifth cards. And these are going to portray, of course, the challenges and obstacles that each twin faces that they need to overcome in order to move into union in the 3D in this lifetime. 
So first of all, let's delve into the energy of the masculine to find out what he believes are the main challenges he would need to overcome in order to offer long-term commitment to his true divine feminine. Let's have a look. The Hermit. So with the energy of the Hermit, which is the dark night of the soul, the masculine's challenge is, is to move forward and embrace this awakening. Not shy away from it, not to sit in his head about it, but to take action in whatever way that means. Virgo energy. Now, the other challenge for the masculine could well be that he misses the feminine. There may have been a lot of distance between the two of them, either geographically or emotionally. They may not have spoken for a while. The hermit sits in isolation and with the energy of the sun, there could be a lot of distance between these two. And so one of the challenges for the masculine may well be, how are we going to close the gap pertaining to location? Or I wonder whether or not I should approach my feminine, because very simply, we haven't spoken for quite a while. So he's nervous. Now, it may also be he could still be connected to a Virgo. This could be someone he's still married to, although he's considering divorce or someone he may have a child with. Or it could well be that he knows that his true divine feminine is in a long term relationship with a Virgo masculine, potentially a karmic partner. And that for him is the block. She is simply not single. So, Divine Twins, let's have a look now at the fifth card for the Divine Feminine. And of course, this is going to show us the challenges she faces, the blocks that she needs to remove from the Twin Flame path in order to come together with her true Divine Masculine in the 3D in this lifetime. Let's see, Twins. I've just seen 2311 on the clock, 1111. The Queen of Cups. Interesting. Now... There could be a queen of cups in the mix and this divine feminine is nervous that this divine masculine is going to choose her. This could be another option for him or her challenge is if she is embodying the queen of cups energy, she knows that she's in love with him. But this seems to be far from an ideal situation. So twins. We move to the penultimate two cards, and these are going to portray what each twin is hoping for, pertaining to the connection with the other twin by the end of May 2024. So first of all, let's have a look at the energies of the masculine to see what he's hoping for pertaining to his feminine by that time. The Page of Swords. So twins, it may well be that the masculine is hoping to have an open, honest conversation with the feminine or the masculine is hoping for clarity from the feminine. It may well be that the masculine is hoping to have the courage to talk to the divine feminine about children, either children she may have or potentially the concept of having children if there is a large age gap. If the feminine is single... She could be over 40 and there could be a large age gap. The masculine wants to know, would she be willing to find a way of having children with him if he got serious with her? If she is married and she has children and she considers in the future ending a long term relationship, he wants to find out more about the practicalities of building a relationship with her if she has children with someone else. So twins, I feel the masculine has a lot on his mind. Let's have a look now at the final card for the Divine Feminine. Now this is going to show us, of course, what she's hoping for pertaining to her Divine Masculine. Let's see. The Queen of Swords. So the feminine is also hoping to have an open, honest conversation with the masculine, although she may be a little bit guarded and quite nervous. 
she may also have questions to ask him. So twins, what we have here is, I feel, a very complicated dynamic. There could be simply an age gap between these two. It could well be that both these twins were in karmic relationships and have realised they're meant to be together. It could be that the masculine has gone through awakening, understanding that the woman that he met is his true divine twin, but he may also have found out that this woman is married, so he has questions. The masculine may have a choice of being with another woman coming through as the Queen of Cups, but I feel whatever happened here between the two, both twins decided to sabotage the connection. It could have related to third parties. It could have related to the fact there was distance involved. It could have been about a difference in ages. So twins, let's have a look at the final card. Now this is going to portray the outcome of this twin flame journey, showing us what potentially may happen between these two May 2024. So let's see. justice. Now the feminine holds very strong Libra energy. We have the Empress Taurus Libra and we have the Queen of Swords. It may well be that the Empress is seeking to balance out her life or she could be wanting justice in the situation. She's wanting the masculine to move towards her with clarity. It could well be that she is considering going through a legal process to end her relationship with somebody else, but she wants to have an open, honest conversation with him first. Is it worth my while? Now, as always, twins, we're going to move into twin flame messages. Let's have a look to see what the masculine would want to relate to the feminine and, of course, vice versa. Archangel Michael, maybe first of all have messages from the Divine Feminine to her Divine Masculine. What would the Feminine want to say to the Masculine, please, Michael? Thank you. Interesting. The Feminine is saying to the Masculine, I have family and work obligations, which may suggest that she's in a relationship with somebody else. She could be married to somebody else. She could be living with somebody with children. What else does the feminine want to say to the masculine? She regrets the way things were left. She regrets maybe what was said, what was done the last time these two were together. A final message, please, on Kendall Michael from the Divine Feminine to her masculine. Okay, this fell in my lap. I feel like I'm losing you. All right. So she is not holding out much hope that these two can come together and form a commitment. There's a very strong indication we have a masculine here who is understanding that this feminine that he's met is in a long-term commitment with somebody else. I think she's nervous because she may have found out that there's a Queen of Cups hovering on the outside, ready to make a play for this masculine. And she's very stressed, not knowing what to do. She may feel she's about to lose this masculine to a Queen of Cups. I feel like I'm losing you. But I don't think she's prepared to end the relationship she's in right now. She's stating she has family obligations. As in, I have to do the right thing by my family. She's worried that if she makes a decision to stay in her long-term commitment, the masculine will end up moving forwards with somebody else, possibly a Queen of Cups, because this Queen of Cups seems to be her challenge. So Archangel Michael, may we have messages from the Divine Masculine now to the Divine Feminine. The masculine is saying to the feminine, I'm trying to straighten some things out first. So he may be looking at his life. He could be considering moving to be with her if she ended another relationship. It could well be he's thinking of relocating to her area. He may want to prove to her that he's ready to put in the effort. 
Second message, please, Michael, from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. The Divine Masculine is trying to deal with his emotions. He's feeling overwhelmed. Very simple message. This feels too intense. I'm not sure how to handle it. I feel as if the Divine Masculine is fully aware of the strength of the connection between these two. But if he wasn't aware initially that she was in a long-term relationship with someone else, that news has hit him very, very hard. He doesn't know how to deal with it. It may well be that he's wondering whether or not she would make the decision to leave. But for now, I feel, given the fact that we have this message here, I have family and work obligations, it may well be that he's realising it's a lot to ask of her if she's not totally sure that this could end up being a really successful relationship, a commitment in the future. She may not be ready to sever ties with a long-term partner. So he's very stressed. But I feel what we have here coming up, twins, is an open, honest conversation. Cards on the table. The Divine Feminine may want to know how serious this masculine is about her. The Divine Masculine may want to know, is she seriously considering ending her long-term relationship? With the Five of Swords, someone here sabotaged the connection because they may have found out the other person, and that would be the Empress, the Divine Feminine, was in a long-term commitment with someone else, possibly married. We may also have a Queen of Cups in the mix. The Empress may have found out about another woman, and so she's stressed the masculine is going to walk off with that other woman if she doesn't end the relationship that she's in. I feel this is a very complicated situation, twins. So... I really hope it's given you some kind of clarity. If you'd like your own Twin Flame reading, you can reach me. My website is down below. And if you want to find out the energies of your true divine twin, you would need to book an extended Twin Flame reading. So I'm leaving it there. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, twins.